Hey guys, it's Josh here with DesireTutorials.com and I'm, right now I'm going to show you how to install Drupal 8 from start to finish and fix three of the, the errors that you might get in the process. The errors are written in the comments below the video. So first thing we want to do is we want to come to Drupal.org and we want to actually uh, download the files. So to get the files you come to download and extend. Then you want to actually click this Drupal download button. Then I downloaded the zip file right here, and um, I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to do it. Then once you have that, the next thing you want to do is come to your control panel, and from your control panel, we need to make some database, a database, and a user that can uh, have that Drupal website running. So first, we're going to create a new database, and we'll go back. Now we need to make a user for that database. So add new user. And then once that user is made, we need to give that user permissions to access that database. So add user to database. We're gonna make it the Drupal 8 test user to the database, and you can change these if you have different users. We need to make sure that this user has all privileges. Right there. So all privileges. Save. Now we're back. And now we can start in our file manager and upload our files that we just downloaded. So we'll go to our file manager. Depending on where you want your root to be, depends on where you upload your files. I'm actually going to make a new folder to upload my files to. So I'm going to upload my uh, Drupal zip file I downloaded. I'm going to give it the uh, execute privileges as, privileges as well. I'm going to browse that. So then I'm just going to upload that zip file. Alright, so with that uploaded, we need to actually go back to our, our folder, or our root folder. We're going to refresh or reload it. And there's a zip file we just uploaded, and we need to extract the files out of here. So right here we're going to extract and tell it OK. Now we're going to reload again. And we need to move these files into our root. So we come here, click the top one, scroll down, hold shift, click the bottom one. Now we're going to move them. If you just delete the front folder out, it will just move them back to the root or your folder before it. Now we don't need this folder anymore, I'm just going to delete it. And from here we're ready to go to our website. Alright, so mine's just bealbros.com and the folder that we just made it in. And then it's going to prompt you through the website install. So English. Now I always pick the standard. I'm not sure what min minimal would even be. And here's where you get one of your errors. It's your, it's this error right here. And I can show you how to fix that real quick. So if you come to your control panel, come down to your PHP version, where is that? Right down here. You can change this all in here. If you're on a local host like your computer, you need to do it in your PHP.any file. But here's your your OP cache um, button. You click that. And then right here is where you get another error at the time zone one, and you check that one too. But we'll get to that. I'm not going to do it now because I'm going to show you where the errors show up on your website too. So we'll just leave that and we'll go to the next step. So continue anyway. So now you um, pick the database that you're using with the username that we just made that has full privileges to the database. And now it's going to install and I'll come back. Alright, so with that installed, it's now going to bring you to another page. And here's where I got an error before. It was right up here was that date and time one, which is not there right now. But if it does show up, um, you know how to fix it. And it's actually um, 
the errors written in the bottom of the page, the error I was getting, are right under the video. So now you just make all your uh, different stuff here. And then you save it, and then it should bring you to your website. And I'll show you where the actual errors are on your website that I'm talking about. Alright, so there's your website. You can't see them on the front page, but if you come to reports, and then status reports right here, you can see the warning and the error that you get. So we'll just go get the details. And here's the, um, the caching problem right here. So let's go back to our control panel. Remember we're in um, PHP version. And this fixed the time zone error. Then this one right here, um, OP cache, that fixed the error that's on the page. And make sure you're on 5.6 because if you're on native, you won't have any of these options. So now we're going to save it. When we refresh this page, this will go away. So there's the one error. So now let's fix the trusted host setting. This one's a little more complicated. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come to your, your file manager. And we want to go into the root. Then we want to go into our sites folder and our default. But before we go into default, we want to change the permissions. We want to have access to write in that folder. So now we can go inside that folder. And from the settings folder, we want to change that permissions too. We want to be able to write and execute. So now we can go in here and then code edit and fix that actual um, code that's there. So once your code editor is done loading, there's a simple way we can find the code that we need. So if you hold control and press F, it's going to open up your find field. You need to just type trusted underscore host underscore patterns. Then it shows us exactly what we need if you go to the next one. And these three lines of code are the code that we want, except for the little asterisks. It's just commented out, which I don't, I guess it makes it easy because you don't have to type it. But now we scroll down to the bottom. We're going to put this down here. I'm just going to put a bunch of returns down here. Nobody can see what I'm doing. And I'll paste it right here. And the first thing you want to do is delete the little asterisks. And I'm just going to save it to show you what happens to your website if you do it wrong. So if you save it and then you refresh this page, it's going to give you this little error up here. Because you're because this is not trust or this domain that they're using isn't the, the right trusted domain. So all you have to do is come here and delete this and put your domain there. Which mine's Beal Bros. But watch out if you had a period in your uh, domain name, like a, like right here, you have to have a uh, forward slash or backslash in front of it like that. But I don't. I don't know why periods are like that, but they are. So now when we save this, it should fix the error. And right here, if you're using, if you need a different database, here's where you change your database that your Drupal site's using. Say you want to install a new database and then link it to it. So there's all that. So let's save this, even though I think I just did. And now when we go back to our website and refresh the page, I should get rid of that other error. See, now there's no more errors or warnings. So that's pretty much how you do that. Then in the next video, I'm going to show you how to install a cool admin drop down for these and then uh, some other cool things. So I hope that was helpful, guys.